Welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this session, we are going to show you how to install Cloudera Quick Start Virtual Machine, which includes the CDH 5.4x Hadoop framework in this. So I'll uh, use this PDF in, uh, throughout the video to go show you the instruction step by step. And you can also download this uh, PDF from hadoopexam.com as well as from this video where you are watching or if you are watching on YouTube then inside the description section you can find the direct link for this PDF. So you can use this PDF where we, uh, I will show you how to install in step by step. So let's go to the first what step we have so this is the cloudera site this cdh 5.4x we are going to install so uh, what are the machine requirement to install this software so first it requires 64 bit windows operating system so we are using windows operating system over here to install this uh, quick vm okay and it requires the vm player 4.x and this is freely available but you have to download from the vmware site uh, and we, we are using here 7.x version of this so this is the latest version right now available of the VM player and uh, we ne VM needs at least 4 GB RAM so uh, Hadoop uh, to run this Hadoop in this VM uh, it is there is a minimum RAM required is 4 GB so we suggest you should have on your machine at least 8 GB RAM to uh, give you the average performance on the in the Hadoop uh, in the virtual machine the Hadoop framework gives so 4 GB RAM would be consumed by the virtual machine itself and 4 GB for your use on the Windows machine okay and other than uh, this requirement there's a one important requirement which most of the people face the problem is host OS must be able to support hardware virtualization obviously your host will support but you have to enable it the right now forget about this how to enable this virtualization when we face the problem in next uh, or in next step I will show you how to solve this virtualization problem if you face if you don't face then no worry then you can go so this is the download link from the quick start VM which will directly go over here so this is the link where quick start VM virtual machine so which version of virtual machine you wish to download so right now 5.4 X is available and 5.3 X is available so here we will be using the quick start VM CDH 5.4 so latest version so all the requirement if you wish to read more about this you can get it from this page only so this link for this is this this is the link from where you can get this uh, CDH4 okay, by just clicking on this if you click on this it will go to the this page only so yeah this is the page so there from there you can download it now this is the one software which is we are going to install it another software we need it like so sorry so before this on this page this you can select this which virtual machine and the download link okay so now just click on the download for VMware we are going to use the VMware okay so download this VMware so this keep in mind this is almost 3.3 uh, 3 gigs of the size so it will take the time to download because it depends on your bandwidth and as well so it will depend on your bandwidth how much time it will take but this the size is 3.3 GB of this virtual machine image okay so now let's move after the download the VM player from the VMware site so you have to download this VM player so just click on this link it will go to this VM player uh, VMware site from there you can download this uh, latest version if you will uh, so we are using for the windows operating system correct so we will we have the windows 64 bit operating system so just use this we download this vm player by clicking on this download link the same is mentioned on the pdf so now you have downloaded the vm player so once you download so you should have this two files have been downloaded completely cloud era quick start vm this 5.4.2 version and vm player so now you, you need to start unzipping this file because this is a 3 GB file so it will take time to unzip as well so uh, so you can just start unzipping it because, but here I am going to show you so, so it, by the time we, we, we are finished with the installation of the VM player it might be unzipped completely 
so it all depends on your machine performance how much time it take and okay so now let's first install this vm player on your machine so just installation is very simple this is the exe file any exe software you install on the windows machine the same you have to just click next 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 there is no configuration changes required so you just install it so by clicking next 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 i have already installed this on my windows machine so there i'm not going to show you this step this is very simple step this is any software you install on the windows you just double click on this exe so which i have downloaded this exe here so you just click on uh, exe so like i'm saying so this window is coming so now it vm player so what it says the installation wizard will allow repair or vmware something so it depends on because i have already installed so it will ask you to repair and remove but in your case it might uh, if it is not installed already then it asks you to install it so i have already installed this on my machine so i'm not uh, going to install it or repair it or something okay so just it's, it's a just five minutes steps to install the vm player it's nothing a uh, big thing it's very simple so now once you install this this kind of icon this this icon would be available on your machine so in this machine you can see on windows machine this icon would be available on the vm player so this this is the icon that would be available here on your machine so now let's move next step so now we have installed the vm player completely correct now unzip the cloud era which you might have already done it will take quite long time because the size is 3.3 gb so i have downloaded this file the size if you want to check here is 3.88 gb even more than 3.3 so it's almost 4 gb file you have to unzip it once you unzip it inside that you can see so many vmx file so many vmdk file would be uh, unzipped and available here okay and similarly the, there is a one vmx file so there are different kind of files available so after unzipping so i have already unzipped it and i have used it so some of the log files you can see here this might not be available in your case because i have already used this uh, after installation that's why it's showing this log file so but there's no difference as such restarting or something so now you once you unzip it so like remove the uh, spaces and hyphen or something and create the simple this name ki kind of name clearly so this would be the good uh, thing so no hyphen or something now inside the folder look for this below file this vmware cloud era quick start vm 5.4.2 vmware vmx file why we are saying just open this file if you have like this is the vmx file i wish to open it so this is open and look for this attribute msg dot auto answer sorry okay msg dot auto answer something look for this okay so now this is available so in your case this hash would not be there here so i would suggest please put this hash over here so comment this so it this message is clearly saying i don't want to auto answers to the v, uh, to the vm player so the, here i have written the message vm asks some question by giving you pop up window if you would not comment this this part then it will auto answer the pop up and you will not able to find if there is any error so that's what the important point here like let's keep it uh, like all the messages come up we we have like we, we, we wish to control this pop-up so we just get a pop-up and it won't be auto answered later on once it's completely installed then you can again change back this auto answer so you can uh, avoid it but first time installation i would suggest you keep this start the just vm player by clicking on the icon on your desktop so now vm player is installed we have unzipped this via all the via this file this vmware zip file from down which is downloaded from the cloud era so i'll just double click it okay so now this is aha okay let me remove this that would be good for you to understand remove from the library okay so ignore this right now this is another older version of virtual machine okay so now th th this you have started and because it is completely open the new virtual machine 
okay oh, we, we can we are not going to create a new virtual machine we want to open a virtual machine because the software we have downloaded here this is already a virtual machine which is created by the cloud era so we can just open the virtual machine and it will like whatever cloud era 543 it will ask you to select one of the vmx file so this vmx file we have changed this vmx file has complete detail inside this what has to be done what needs to be done many things are there so just open it so now you can see here this is coming up like your virtual machine name same screenshot I have given in the PDF as well now click open virtual machine here like same step we have done select the VMX file this is the VMX file we are going to select now you will see your Cloudera VM is added in left hand side no changes required correct now this is like there's a suggestions like you can edit machine settings or something but I suggest don't change it like there's no need like keep it 4 GB so that is the minimum requirement 4 GB don't change reduce it otherwise you will uh, hit a like kind of problem like slowness in the virtual machine or something so let's this now just you have to click on play virtual machine that's the step you have to do and this is going to take time so this is direct input to virtual machine. press ctrl z and alt ctrl to come out of the screen okay so now this this kind of screen you will see uh, this this like lot of things will be keep coming so now important point here is now now you can see this is the pop-up correct so now I don't want to auto answer so remind me later okay now if you have not auto answered and your virtual machine is not working properly like there is a chances like in my case when first time I have installed it the my uh, virtualization was not enabled so I get an error message like this is the error message in the pop-up you will get it if you have disabled this flag only then only you will get the pop-up okay that is the important point so like this is the things like this has to be commented then only you can get this error on the pop-up so this is the error this virtual machine is configured for 64 bit guest operating system however 64 bit operation is not possible because this host is a uh, intel machine and the vtx is disabled so virtualization is disabled so how to uh, enable this virtualization go to the bios settings on your machine so every machine has a different way of going to the bios machine so like in my case like uh, just while starting this i have used the escape button on the keyboard corner and it will direct me to you to how to go into the bios section so once you are into the bios section of your machines so just uh, go to the system configuration and inside the system configuration look for the virtualization technology in my case it was disabled like here you can see I have taken the images like uh, this is not screenshot this is I have used mobile phone to take the pictures so like because this is the bio setting you cannot take screenshot so now this virtualization technology is disabled just using the keyboard you can just enable this virtualization just make it enable and then start your machine so some screen while VM start so so that that's enough and then again start your VM after that just clicking on the uh, VM player and selecting the, the virtual machine which we have done in the previous step so this is like this is very important like most of the machine like initially don't have any budget so many people face this kind of problem while starting so that is the one of the challenge here you will face so that needs to be enabled some screen while VM start I have taken so this is like this is the screenshot I have taken so once this VM started you can see this kind of screen okay so here still starting it will take time so let's wait for like two three minutes it will again take time so once it started then it will uh, redirect you to the hue screen and uh, some uh, administration screen so that is the way you can install the uh, quick start VM okay so that is let let's wait for it to come meanwhile it is coming up I wanted to show you some more things like what Hadoop exam provides actually Hadoop exam provides the hands-on sessions or, or say training uh, for this so you just visit on the Hadoop exam.com this is Hadoop professional training as well as we are also
sorry uh, as well as we are also providing various certification solution here like for the cloud era uh, how to develop a certification practice questions like we have 434 questions like with the coding practice questions similarly for the administration certification this is for HP certification this is for AWS certification so these are the various certification solutions like for the data science cloud era we are providing the Hadoop training with the hands-on session. There is a various AWS solutions, SaaS solutions like EMC data science. And recently we have launched Apache Spark certification material. So if you are preparing for the certification in the big data world, then I would suggest you visit the HadoopExam.com and then download the uh, things to, and prepare for your certification. At the same time, we are also keep creating the this video sessions. So please subscribe if you are watching in the YouTube channel, so you can get the all free sessions which we we are keep uh, launching, and you can also get it our uh, paid training that is the uh, Hadoop training with the hands-on session that is called Hadoop Professional Training. Uh, so these are the material we are going to uh, provide you. So let's see what happens over virtual machine. Yeah, this is come this come up. Okay, so now you can see this is the screen which like available now. Like it is completely cloud era uh, theme. You can see here. So all Eclipse and all things are already installed. You just click on this. So this terminal window will come up. So this is the browser uh, window which has already come up with the Impala, Hue, Hadoop, HP, and all the quick. Uh, URL is already there you can just click on it you can click on the hue so you can go to hue this this cloud era will move you to cloud era site and this hue will put you to the hue so hue is a web tool for the complete uh, many uh, Hadoop related activity using even ecosystem impala hive uh, pig uh, uzi workflow many things you can do in the hue itself so in the future session or future training video we will be using this quick uh, start VM so let it install it and use it and you can download the PDF uh, from the below section of the video so this available to you to download so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you will uh, are able to uh, start quick VM on your Windows machine thanks thanks for watching and this video is also in association with uh, like quicktechy.com this is another partner website quicktechy so this is all big data developer community is uh, already there so people have started joining it many free books you can relate it to big data find it from the quicktechy.com so this is the like you go to all professional sections to so the people who have joined us like we have right now 145 member on the quick take we have just recently launched you can you can download the quick books like which being created like this is data science quick book 25 pages how to pin interview question these are all pdf format you have to you can download from this site so you just register over here so you will get many for, uh, big data material over from this site and uh, many premium job services will be provided to you thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this video